Coming up, we're going to be talking about two Disney Plus originals that have been cancelled, and we're also going to be talking about a major delay for an upcoming Marvel film. Hi everyone, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. It's Monday, it's time for a quick Disney Plus News Roundup. So let's start off talking about two cancellations, because Deadline has confirmed that Big Shot and the Mighty Ducks Game Changers will not be returning for third seasons. Now I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge surprise to see this as has happened, because Essentially with season two, it kind of got dropped. There was very little publicity for both second seasons. You know, basically like um, a poster and a trailer and a little bit of publicity, not a lot. Usually that's an indication that they don't want to spend too much money on it. And yes, they have been canceled. They're not going to be returning. Again, Big Shot, I think, was um, a great series. It was a really fun show. I definitely recommend you check it out. I really enjoyed it. But the second season did kind of end um, with everything kind of getting wrapped up, but with the possibility of them carrying on. There was no big cliffhanger. And also it was revealed just before the series came out that um, they were barely able to get the second season back because it nearly got cancelled in the first one. The Mighty Ducks game changes, I suspect as well, the viewing figures probably weren't that good. I think with Emilio Estevez not returning for it due to the health and safety restrictions that Disney put in during the pandemic, um, that meant that the interest in it just wasn't there the same way. Um, I honestly didn't even finish the second season because I, I thought it was pretty boring. But um, yeah, I just I just wasn't so keen. So I'm not surprised, but well, there's been quite a bit of outcry over the fact that they've finally been cancelled. And a lot of talk as well of like, oh, Disney are following Netflix and cancelling stuff. Studios have been cancelling shows for decades. It's nothing new. It's that time of the year that they tend to do it. And if a show isn't performing as well as they'd like, they might as well spend that money on something else that might do. Um, but I think at least with Big Shot, that we did at least get that second season. But let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Quick note as well, last night at the BAFTAs, the Banshees of Interim picked up four different awards, including Best British Film. And you can watch that film right now on Disney Plus here in the UK. You'll find it on HBO Max in the US. A really great film, really enjoyed seeing that one there. Also at the BAFTAs, Avatar The Way of Water picked up an award for Best Visual Effects. And it was also revealed yesterday that now that film is now the third highest box office of all time. Just past Titanic, there was a little bit of hedging bets where they were going around a little bit with um, the uh, Valentine's re-release of Titanic. But yeah, so that film is now the third biggest film of all time. I'm just behind um, the original, um, we've also got in there uh, the Avatar film and Avengers Endgame. So a massive, um, big success this one. So yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot more of Avatar. I love the film, but let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Disney's also made a little bit of an adjustment to it release schedule for some upcoming films. The Haunted Mansion has been pulled forward to July the 28th, just one week. And um, the reason for that is because they have pushed the Marvels back from the July slot right through till the 10th of November. A little bit of a delay, but it kind of means now that the Marvels film is not arriving around the same time um, as some of the other big blockbusters for the summer. It also means there's a little bit more of a delay between the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is out in May. I don't think that's a bad idea, kind of pushing it back. It's kind of sliding into kind of more the Thanksgiving zone. Um, so they're going to have Wish and the Marvels out around that period, which I think is good. It also does mean now that the Marvels will definitely not hit Disney Plus this year. We're going to be looking at that one at 2024. Um, Haunted Mansion, I wouldn't be at all surprised if it dropped onto Disney Plus for the um, Halloween season. I think that would be a great way of kind of picking things up. But let me know what you think of all of this in the comments below. Remember to go check us out over at what's on disneyplus.com big thank you to all of our patrons and youtube channel members and on that note guys thank you very much see you guys soon laters